everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have Paki's latest series called The Feast. I am especially excited for this series because it contains many Chinese delicacies that are my favorite foods. So without further ado, let's get to unboxing. Here is the box. I heard the one in front is very very popular so I can't wait to see that one. Turning around, we have 12 basic designs as always and the secret is a clay pot rice design. It's not really my favorite. I actually like the um, this one and I like the peach one a lot. I like this one as well, so I actually think the hot pot one has more potential to be a secret than the clay pot rice, but yeah. Let's see if we will be surprised with a secret today. Secret count is still zero, so I'm still waiting patiently for my very first secret. Let's go, box number one. This is my first time buying Paki, and my first time seeing their bags, it's pretty cute. Oh wow, our very first design is the hot pot one. Okay, this is so adorable. So we have two little puckies. This kind of reminds me of the Zika Twin series where you buy one and you get two. So just for you guys who do not know much about the hot pot, um, hot pot usually has two different kinds of broths and we call that yuan yang. So um, I'm guessing this one is probably chicken soup and this other one should be mala. Um, these are the two more popular ones. Um, yeah, I think over here uh, the collagen broth is very popular and it's usually eaten together with the mala broth. So yeah, so I actually think this series is very relatable to me on a cultural level because I come from a Chinese culture and many of these delicacies, I have tried them before since young. So for example, this hot pot one, it's, it's really very very cute. Um, the pot is very realistic, it's bronzy and there's all these um, scratch marks that we usually see on the pot because it's usually been used for many years. So yeah, this one's really very very adorable. I think this is one of the popular ones as well. I'm not surprised. <laughs> this one's really very very cute. So yes, that is figure number one. Box number two. This series is sold out everywhere. I actually got this online and it just got delivered today, so yeah. Figure number two is roast duck. Okay, so this one, um, very very familiar with this food. I eat it every Lunar New Year. So we have Pucky, she's uh, in this duck form and she has some sauce on top, it's probably dark or black sauce. And she's actually wearing a chef's hat that's pretty cute. And this thing over here, it's kind of like a piece of dough and we wrap the duck around it so that we can eat it together. And then here is some leek. I'm pretty sure it's leek. Yeah, I usually don't like to eat with this thing. I just eat the duck with the, the dough. I think this series um, very interestingly is that they actually made the food look very very realistic with all the shading. Um, as you can see, there's some parts that are darker, some parts that are not so dark, which is essentially how foods will look like when you cook them. Um, it's not an even color all over, which I, I really think it's a very nice detail. And from what I know, um, I think Paki's eyes this time are a little bit different. Yeah, they are sort of like a, a pupil instead of just a, a flat eye with just the, the pupil printed on it. It's actually like a round ball of pupil. This is actually my very very first Paki series. I've never bought Paki before but I thought I needed this one because <laughs> it's really such a relatable set to me. So yes, that is figure number two. Box number three. Figure number three is Harry Crab. Okay, so this was another one that I'm familiar with. The way we eat crabs here is chili crab. So that's a very, very popular way of eating crabs um, here in my country. Some of you guys can probably guess where I'm from um, just by chili crab. 
But yes, so Pucky is in this um, very very red crab suit, which means the crab is actually cooked already. Um, that kind of explains why she's sweating, probably because she is getting cooked. Um, yes, uh, I'm sure we all are familiar with uh, crabs being tied up um, by some rope, kind of to prevent their clasp from uh, or their pincers from snipping you. So yeah, um, we have a very uh, cute expression from Paki here. Clearly, she is very very hot. And this is the crab shell behind. I would say a pretty good attempt at replicating. How the shells look like. So yeah, um, this is not really my favorite, uh, but I think it's still pretty cute. There are cute little crab eyes on top as well. I don't recall Pucky series being this kind of theme. I think they were usually more like fairy forest kind of theme. So yeah, this one's really a very special breakthrough for Pucky, I believe. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this set. Box number four. Figure number four is crayfish. Wow, this is really, really cute. Can you guys tell the whole figurine is glossy? That's such a cute design. So yeah, we have really huge pincers at the side and Puggy's kind of in a lobster suit, uh, lobster hits, the helmet. Yeah, we have the typical lobster tail. What a cute and interesting design. I actually really like to eat lobsters, um, more so than crabs actually. <laughs> um, yes, so it's quite similar to the crab one that we just unboxed. Um, it's all red, which means it's cooked. Uh, uh, which I think it's it's a pretty nice color scheme to choose instead of the uncooked version. Let me know what you guys think and which one is your favorite so far. Box number five. This one's really full. Like, I kind of can feel something um, on the front here protruding. Figure number five is Sweet Dew. Oh, this Pucky is so cute. She is drunk. Yeah, so this this um, barrel looking thing she's holding actually contains wine and the word over here says feng. So yeah, Pucky is uh, in a very uh, drunken stance. As you guys can tell, she's kind of uh, not very sober and she's still trying to drink the wine from the barrel or the bottle. It's a really cute design. Um, I really like the hat. I think it's very olden day style and Pucky's hair, my first time seeing Pucky's hair like this, I think it's really very cute. Nice details on the cape, as you guys can tell, it's kind of patched up, yeah it's sewn up so probably a pretty old cape that Pucky is using. Very adorable, I mean we no longer drink wine from these kinds of barrels or bottles. I think very interesting for the artist to include this in because I would, I would say it's a pretty significant cultural beverage, cultural drink um, that goes way back to many centuries ago. Let me know if this one is your favorite guys. Box number six, we are almost halfway done. Figure number six is hand pulled noodles. Right, so the Chinese for this one is actually la mian, which directly translates to ramen in Japanese. So yeah, maybe that gives a little bit more context to the design. Um, that's why Paki is pulling, hand pulling some noodles in front and it's in a heart shape, it's pretty cute. And one thing I really love is uh, this name up here, it actually says bi mian guan. So, Paki in Chinese is bi qi, so this bi is for Paki, and mian guan is actually noodle shop. So Paki noodle shop, very very cute. And yeah, over here says bi as well, which, which is Paki. So um, obviously she is um, the chef. Uh, she has a bowl of, uh, I would say, yeah, ramen, ramen noodles on her head. Um, very very cute. Um, this one's not really my favorite, but I think it will start to grow on me. It's a pretty cute design. 
and um, but to be honest I'm not a really big fan of ramen noodles um, yeah I, I prefer other types of noodles but yes if you guys have eaten at the restaurant called Din Tai Fung before uh, they actually hand pull the noodles at this kind of display room um, showcasing room and you can see how the noodles are made so yeah it's a pretty tedious process I have seen them made the noodles before so it makes me appreciate every bite that I eat so yeah that is figure number six box number seven figure number seven is steamed bun we finally unboxed the cute one so this is the one everyone online is trying to get and I can really understand why so let's zoom in a little bit more so Paki is in the shape of uh, what we call here Xiaolongbao or um, the more normal um, mainstream name is called Tangbao so Tangbao directly translates to soup bun um, that's because in each of these buns there is actually soup soup and meat so yeah that's why Paki is uh, trying to drink the soup with a straw um, yeah that's why it's designed like this this one is so so cute um, Paki is so small and she's just sitting inside this basket it's so adorable so every time we order um, this kind of bun uh, it comes with this basket and it usually comes in a basket of six and uh, I believe the most uh, common type of meat inside this bun is pork. I personally like the pork version. I'm not sure if there are other meat versions. I'm pretty sure there are, but yeah, um, the most popular one is pork. I can see why it's the most popular one. I mean, it looks pretty realistic, right? That's how the buns kind of uh, come together on top when they are sealed up. Adorable. Yeah, let me know if this one is your favorite. Box number 8 Figure number 8 is T Okay, so the first thing I noticed about this one is the four words that are on Paki's body It actually says Wan Shou Wu Jiang Which is a kind of praise that you tell to your elderly um, Wishing them longevity, endless, boundless longevity So this kind of teacup you can see very often in Chinese historical or periodical dramas yeah, most of their teacups will have these four words Wan Shou Wu Jiang printed on it It's a very common thing to say to someone who is well respected like the king um, for instance or your parents I think this design is actually really cute uh, I've been seeing online everyone's trying to avoid this one but I actually quite like this one because it's pink and I think it's pretty intricate so um, Paki is kind of like the shape of a teapot uh, because the cap is on her head and her hand actually makes it look like the snout of the teapot um, yeah and she's holding a little teacup yeah it's a pretty plain design it's not exactly like a food or like Chinese delicacy but tea is a, a pretty significant part of the food culture here so yeah I can see why this design was included let me know if this one is your favorite or this one is the one you're trying to avoid. Box number 9 Figure number 9 is Stinky Tofu for those of you guys who have uh, been to a country with a lot of street food would probably have eaten stinky tofu before. Um, this is a very very popular Chinese style street food, um, mostly served as street food but I'm pretty sure there are restaurants that serve this as well and you would know that it's really pretty stinky <laughs> you can kind of smell it from a mile away uh, and you will know that someone somewhere is selling stinky tofu but it is actually very very fragrant when you eat it let me know if you guys have actually tried stinky tofu before I think it's really quite an, an acquired taste um, I didn't used to like it but over the years uh, I have 
started to appreciate it a little bit more. So yeah, I guess the name kind of deterred me for a while, but I guess I took a leap of faith and decided to try it one day, and it's really not too bad. So this design is pretty nice. Uh, this is kind of like the bean curd kind of style of tofu, and Paki has uh, this sauce all over her head and she's actually covering her nose because it's stinky tofu. This is very very cute. I, I like this one. I think this will be one of my favorites. Let me know if this one is your favorite one. Box number 10. This one's very very heavy. I'm guessing it's the peach one. Figure number 10 is Longevity Peach. Okay, so um, in the Chinese culture, we actually have this food that's usually served on birthdays and it's the longevity peach or what we call in Chinese shou tao. So the name here actually says chang shou bao but the more common one that I know of is shou tao and um, it's essentially a peach shaped steam bun um, that's pink in color and the filling inside is usually lotus paste. Um, it's yeah, it's kind of like a cultural food. There is not much meaning to to why it's, it's it's peach or why it's a bun. Um, I guess it's just something that has been passed down. I actually quite enjoy eating um, longevity peach or longevity buns because I love lotus paste. So yeah, I think this design has quite a lot of significance for me because I eat this every year. And Paki is actually really really cute. She has two little buns and it's uh, tied up in this pink ribbon and she's lying on top of this huge peach or longevity bun and she looks quite chubby very very cute um, I, I think this one will be one of my favorites as well I mean it's pink and a lot of you guys should know that pink is my favorite color so yeah let me know if this one is your favorite because I, I think no one can dislike this one box number 11 Figure 11 is Chinese Hamburger. This is a very very adorable design. It's actually one of the ones that caught my eye or made me want to buy this series. Um, yeah, uh, so usually the meat that we use in this bread is pork, again. Um, and yeah, this bread is just made of dough and I'm not sure what kind of vegetable this is probably um, parsley oh sorry not parsley I think it's coriander yes coriander um, I personally do not like coriander so I will remove that <laughs> before I eat this Chinese hamburger for this design it's a very very tasty delicacy if you guys get a chance to try it uh, please do um, you won't regret it it's very very nice yes uh, I, I think it's very realistic this design especially the bread it's kind of uh, this matte uh, finishing um, and yeah as you can see Paki is actually dressed up as a little pig or a piglet <laughs> very very cute I, I really like this one so probably will put it in my kitchen I mean it's food right <laughs> so yeah that's figure number 11 last box box number 12 Our very last figure is Rice Dumpling. Okay, so I have a very interesting story to share about this one. Um, so this one actually translates to Chinese, it's called Zongzi, and we eat this during Dragon Boat Festival or what we call Duan Wu Jie. So essentially, um, how this food came about is because in very very olden days, uh, there is this poet, his name is called Qu Yuan. He actually drowned in a river and because he's very renowned and very well respected, um, a lot of people do not wish for him his body to be eaten by the fishes in the river so they wrapped uh, rice in leaves and they actually threw it into the river hoping that the fishes will eat the rice instead of his body so yeah that is the backstory behind why we eat rice dumpling but of course now we no longer practice that we don't just throw rice dumplings into the river yeah it's more of to celebrate this uh, this festival and yeah kind 
kind of to keep the culture going. This design is very cute. Uh, I like green as well, um, and I think the the ropes uh, that's tying up Paki is quite quite realistic as well. Um, yeah, it's very textured as you can see, quite detailed. And a little bit of rice spilling out on top, and yeah, Paki's in a very cute stance. It's kind of like she's tied up. That's why her hand is kind of. Uh, um, pointing outwards. To be honest, she kind of looks like a Christmas tree here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if, if you know what the rice dumpling is, you would probably associate this design with that more so than a Christmas tree. So yes, that is the very last figurine. Here are all 12 designs together. Let me know which one is your favorite. Mine's definitely the steam bun, the hot pot one, the peach one and the Chinese hamburger one, maybe even the stinky tofu. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little explanations here and there about each of these foods because I, I know about them so I'm a little bit more passionate about explaining uh, the meaning behind some of these foods. So yeah, sorry for talking a little bit more in this video but hopefully it makes some of these figures more meaningful to you guys. And that's all for today. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye bye!